Okie dokie. Wow. Good morning everybody. Back again. A bit more malarkey. And for those of you who've just logged on, check out my previous little mini vlogs on this place. This is my office, right? Uh, hang on a sec. Listen carefully. Now, for those who haven't seen this before, up above me, there's a wacky tree that sheds these things, right? And because I'm into uh, funny arts and crafts and designs, I thought, well, I'll come back and I'll start my uh, mini vlog on handicrafts for young and old alike. Um, I'll see if this location is going to be suitable for that kind of thing. But I have a little workshop back at the ranch over the hill and far away. Um, but without further ado, for any of those of you who are acquainted with uh, loofers, you know the back scrubbers? The big sort of yellowy things that you get? They actually grow around here. Uh, I've got a couple back at home and I should have brought one with me to start off with. But what I do, if you can imagine a, a loofer about so long, the old back scrub, I cut them into slices, right? And I'm going to show you a little arty farty thing that I've made. Uh, and part of this item has been made by snail shells that I've actually found in abundance <laughs> throughout this entire deserted property. Um, it's not deserted, it's not abandoned. You need to follow any of the vlogs I've made to understand where I am. But as I say, I get the cleaner a day off. She must be stressed out. Uh, she needs to get her shopping done like everybody else. So here we go. Uh, I'd try it out as a location, but maybe my workshop's a bit too dim and darker. It's set back in the back of the house. So anyway, without further ado, excuse me a second. Okie dokie, meat. I'm going to chopstick productions right we have here I purchased these from a craft shop the little lolly lolly sticks right little lolly eye sticks and I've glued them all together right and I've rooted out around this resort various styles or species of shells and that that's one of them right on the end of my finger that's quite a large one right uh, the ones I'm using to complete this project, which I'm about to show you, are much smaller. But, ta da! Your debut! Here you go. Now, I hope I can get this in view. Uh, here's the section of the said loofer, right? Which I've cut down. And what you'll see when you, when you cut these things are uh, one, two, three sort of openings where if you imagine the thing in its full length those hollow sections right are filled with seeds and what you need to do you slice the louver down and you shake the seeds out right so what i've done th that's a pebble by the way his hooter is a pebble and obviously these you'd think these were bought in shops no you can find them around here Local farmers go and collect them, put them on the fire, open them up and eat the contents. As with the ears on this one, if I turn this around, I've left it in its raw state, right? I hope I'm getting all this on the camera. So I've used that particular shape for his ears. And that is a beer bottle. A beer bottle cap, hang on. Chopstick Productions beer bottle right fold it over and what I've done with these is obviously painted them an undercoat grey right painted little black eyeballs and used a glue gun it can be done without a glue gun but that's the way I've done it now I put it on a little hanger and I've had I've actually made several different styles of this guy and for those of you who want to follow me 
you're going to need to click and subscribe because I'm going to do I'm going to show you the several uh, versions of this that I've made with different species of shell right uh, and different little designs that to set it off on all four corners and a little hanger simply glued on with a glue gun you know but um, I've got lots of arts and crafts besides this but I just thought I'd start today to beat the COVID blues boy well at least I'm in a country that's not as bad as the restrictions that I've seen around these parts of the world at least we don't have to queue miles down a, a lane to walk into a big shopping mall and buy your produce you know although they're gonna scan you with the gun spray your hands with gel as always but anyway um, so as I say if anyone's interested click like subscribe hooky wooky malarkey with malarkey man um, I've got loads of these and the huge the big huge snail shells I should have brought a, 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 a raw sample with me um, now there's none lying around I, there's a horde of them several meters up into this property there's an old moat uh, lake style moat that the guy had built to set this place off with with fountains and stuff and it's just full completely full with hundreds upon hundreds of these shells uh, these shells and the big snail shells that I've done little particular projects with so anyway and I've got a niece back in England who I think if I remember rightly when I made a visit about a year ago uh, I think I took one it was I made it into a fridge magnet I didn't put it on the back of one of these little wall mountings I just bought uh, a pack of those little tiny round magnets and glued it onto the back of this and voila fridge magnet but its eyes weren't shells they were pebbles and I painted the pebble eyes green and I stuck those little plastic wobbly eyes that you can buy in the craft shops uh, but at the time I was able to buy them off eBay in, in the thousands for, for nothing you know but anyway I just thought it would be interesting beat the Covid blues helps me as well you know uh, yeah. but it needs a name uh, my partner says he looks like somebody off uh, what's the was the movie called alien or something i'm not into movies you know sci-fi movies or anything like that but she said my god it looks like uh, a particular character so there you go anyway but going back i'm just going to put him down going back to uh my little office here this uh this one sort of rattles don't know if you can get and there's another tree I just found one here see this 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 was if you see these little sections here this was before it flew off the tree it was obviously closed and sealed and each one of these was a seed pod right so it's opened up once it's landed and incidentally I could actually see that as the next one I make I'll use it as a it's got war feathers on the, on the back of his head if you can get my job but these you know there's so much interesting stuff around here and before I call it a day on this little mini vlog on my way out right, a couple of days ago uh, when I was in the UK years ago I was really into keeping the uh, house plants and out in the garden and my favorite plant was uh, Passiflora quadrangularis the passion flower right but I never gained any passion fruit off the damn things and I always thought there was just the one species or maybe two but I found one yesterday tiny little version right um, as I say, I'll show you on. The, I won't put the camera off. I'll show you on the on the way out. Um, it really is tiny, and I have, I checked on eBay. Uh, sorry, 
on YouTube. Uh, I'm on eBay. Uh, I checked on YouTube and I saw that there was 10 species and this does not rank in any of those 10 species. I know I'm off topic now but uh, it's just an interesting fact that this place is just I just love it. I love coming here. It's so peaceful. Uh, it's rent free. I've got a swimming pool which I mentioned. It needs a bit of a clean. Boy it means it needs a clean. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, I'll just close the, the tripod on here. I, I can actually leave my uh, office chair here. Nobody comes and takes anything. You know. um, I'll make my way back and I'll think about uh, finding a better area to show off my handicrafts because I actually do pebble art as well, not just these um, loofah back scrubs, which I find great for. Um, but anyway, but that's for a channel that I'm going to do arts and crafts for young and old to get involved in. So there you go. And you don't pay a fee, it's all free. Okay, I'm just going to gather my words. I'll sh I'm just, excuse me a second, I'm going to pick the... I'll just lay out a quick scan around here and look at this. Just look at these up in the tree. Look, you see these? Hundreds upon hundreds of them. Look at that, eh? And the look, you know, the, the family can't tell me what they are. Eh? It's unbelievable, eh? This is an abandoned building that I've already checked out, which is on one of my vlogs. But just get a load of that. Right, this tree is absolutely huge. And out, I don't know that you can see the fencing over there. That's just countryside, that's rice fields, nothing. We're out, this is the boonies, we're out away from the city, about six or seven clicks away from the city. And <laughs> I'm gonna show you my office, right? There's the chair, right? Ricky Gervais, eat your bloody heart out. There's my chair. There's my studio table on which I set the GoPro camera on. It's a, a drawer, an old, well, it's not, it's a newish drawer, never been used, that I retrieved from one of these rooms in these deserted, well, abandoned buildings, right, which I've covered on a vlog all the way around. This place is huge. Nobody comes in here. Uh, they're all into the voodoo, they don't like it, they're, uh, they're asking me to stay away but I'm not into anything fearful like that. Anyway, the Passiflora quadrangularis, which this particular species is not. Uh, where, I'm just trying to figure out where I saw them when I, I came in. Ah, okay, right. Oogie doogie. Where are we? Ooh. Oh, they, wow. They've closed up. Ah, the little baggers are closed up. They, they were open this morning. I was back, I was in here about two or three hours ago and they were wide open. Well, what a bummer. Yeah, so they only open in the... Oh, well. Well, I won't clip this off on, on edits because I don't edit. So, <laughs> you pay your money, you pay your time. I'm back in, in my office tomorrow, uh, early in the morning, so maybe, maybe we'll be in luck. Thanks for watching. Just take a little quick scan around this place. All this, all built, all abandoned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rush over, and you can have a little peek at the, swimming pool but I'll cut the the vlog off oh excuse me it's actually a bit of a dangerous building to venture into but there you go wallop look at that eh free must get the cleaner to come in and clean that out <laughs> that'll stress her out okay 
Thanks for watching. Turn the switch off. Cheers.